Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Since resources are used to track who and what was used in order to complete a given task within a project file, the first type of resource you will learn to create is also the most commonly used, the work resource. You create work resources to indicate who completes task work within a project file and what equipment they need to complete the task. Note that people resources can either be specific, such as a specific person with a unique or necessary skill that is required in order to accomplish a task, for example, John Doe, or they can be general, such as the name of a general type of worker that is required in order to complete a task, such as a writer. Either way, you enter the work resources, their availability, and their associated cost as a resource within your project file. In a later chapter, you will then learn how to assign these resources to tasks within a project and let Microsoft Project schedule work assignments as needed. So first switch your view of your project to your resource sheet view in order to view the resources entered into the project file. This view allows you to enter, edit, and delete project resources. Just as when entering tasks, you have a couple of options as to the method that you use when entering project resources. One way is to simply click into the next available blank row within the resource sheet view and then enter the desired resource information directly into the cells shown. Note that you must select the work option from the type columns drop down menu in order to classify this resource as a work resource. You can then enter any additional detail data that you want in order to record this resource. Now another way is to simply double click the next available blank row or click into the next available blank row and then click the resource information button that appears in the properties group on the resource tab within the ribbon in order to enter the resource details into the resource information dialog box that appears. Note that the Resource Information dialog box provides all of the available options for resource creation within Microsoft Project. So first, you enter a name for the resource into the Resource Name field. You can also enter a group to which this resource belongs by typing your desired group into the Group field. You can also enter a group to just sort and categorize resources. Next, you do need to select Work from the Type drop-down to indicate that this is a work resource. You can then enter any other desired project resource information into the General tab shown, and enter any Costs into the Costs tab, and then simply click the OK button within the Resource Information dialog box in order to save the resource. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.